Hello everyone, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be putting these absolute black subcompact chain rings on my Dura Ace crank. Let's crack on. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is remove this crank arm. And um, we'll be undoing the bolts there and then taking out the preload nut. That will remove this arm and then we can slide the crank out. Okay, to undo this, it's just a simple five mil Allen key. Switch it over. We haven't been out for a while. Okay, full of grit. Okay, so we've got the tool for the preload nut here. Um, I think they come with every crank. I've got one on this uh, X Tools bottom bracket spanner. I just use that one to loosen it, and then I switch over to the hand one just to get it off. So it's a reasonably tight fit on my bike anyway. Right, that is loose. Now I'll just change over, just put that one down there, change over to the hand one. It's quite a long nut, a really fine thread, in case you've never done it before. It's plastic, just a plastic preload cap. I'll lift that up. There you go. Okay, now this. He says, ah, beginner's error. Don't forget to lift up the little switch in there. Otherwise you can't get it off. So I've got a little um, flat bladed screwdriver. Just gonna lift this up. There we go, that's up. And then that pulls out. As you can see, it's just a little, uh, little lever there which locks it in okay so that's that side off the crank will slide out now and then we can get on with it okay to remove the crank just pull it out here we go plop there it is just going to change the rings over so let's get to the bench and um, we're going to need a t30 torx bit to undo these chain rings So right, just make sure that's on undo. Right it there tight. Where is this? Okay. And I'm fighting with this last one. Wow. Yeah, so that was tight. So it smells like burnt hair. Don't know why. Okay, so we've just cleaned that up a little bit, make it nice and shiny as best we can. So we're going to get the 46 uh, oval chain ring and orientate it there. So as you can see, um, we've got a curved edge here. You can see it there just in the light. It's a nice curved edge. All the rest are kind of square. So the curved edge goes uh, top right as we're looking at it, like this. So we'll flip it over. And, uh, as I try not to lose it, on the 30, you'll see it as a bump. Uh, let me put it on the paper. You'll see it has a bump there. Right there, just above my fingers. That bump has to go um, level with the crank arm. So, like that, like so. Okay, so as you know, um, it's one of my things that if I need to get it back out, it gets anti-seized. So I've anti-seized all the bolts. The top chain ring is on. And now we're going to put on the 
rear again. There we go. A good tip is to hold the spindle and uh, then you've got it there so you can just put it straight on so we can drop that one straight in using our T30 and we just spin it in like this just to hold it these are uh, M7 T30 alloy bolts and the small ones are M5 titanium T25 bolts so that's the m7s in um these ones are actually really small holes they're tiny little things so we'll plop them in there and we'll plop that one in there then we'll get our t25 screw it in our other one it in now uh, to torque these up we're going to be using wow that looks weird uh, we're going to be using five five new no four newtons for the small ones so i'll put that up to four and five newtons for the big ones so, okay, that is torqued. That's torqued. Okay, let's change over to the T30. It's got up to five, uh, which is about there. And this one there. Now we're just going to check the smaller ones again. And these up. There we go. And there we go okay so that is how it's going to look once you've finished very strange can't wait to get onto that so we're just going to put it back on the bike okay so once you've got your crank in line the arms up push the arm on push the little black bit down there so you can't take it off again and we're going to just load the pre-lock oh, sorry the preload cap okay in it goes that just has to be tight just to keep it on no rattles so now we can do up the crank arm bolts do them up evenly and they have to be torqued up to between 12 and 14 so I just set my thing on 13 and uh, give them a wind wow that one's loose I don't know it's just gone loose all of a sudden that's why you do them up together okay that is good that is good check that again that one needed a little bit more. That one's good. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, all I need to do now is put on the back wheel, put the chain on, and then we can adjust the front derailleur. Okay, so I've got everything on, as you can see. Um, I'll just turn this round. You're gonna need quite a lot of clearance um, when you turn the cranks round. That's about the lowest. Let's just stop that. And um, 
highest is about there. Um, I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a bind to get right with my derailleur. I don't know if if it's bent or anything, but I just couldn't line it up properly. What a nightmare. I felt like throwing it in the bin, ripping it off my bike and just throwing it away, but I didn't. I persevered. What I did, I took off the uh, mounting screw, took it out. There was a load of grip behind it which may have been kicking it off, uh, cleaned it out, put it back, put this back on. Um, I had to put it this high. I found the teeth were hitting the underneath of the cage, so I raised it up. The uh, limit screw adjustments were okay. I'm gonna leave a link to Absolute Black's website on how to do the uh, limit screws. I found it a bit of a nightmare, but um, that's all fun i suppose we learn by having some hard times so that is it for this edition of cairo's house and uh, we're going to go for a ride soon as soon as the volleyball season's over which is in a few weeks so thanks for watching like subscribe and we'll see you on the next cairo's house bye